Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and today we are breaking down my track, which was originally called Summer Night, but now it's called Never Meant to Hurt You. A um, little background on this. Oh, by the way, you can text me at one 833 if you want to reach out and say what's up. A little background on this. I wrote this a long, long time ago, the chorus to this. Um, and it actually, I, I don't remember, do I say summer night in this or do I say this? The original lyric was December night because I wrote it a couple like Christmases ago, um, probably four or five years ago actually, uh, if not more. Um, and it was just about the background song, the background of it is like, is talking about like trying to find the balance of like what normal life is, you know, like I want this life as a musician, you know, touring and all this stuff, and then, uh, you know, the battle between that and what normal life is, just a life at home, not like in a small town kind of thing. So that's what the song's about. Let's break down the music, though. All right, so let's start off right off the bat. Um, the, if, I, I don't know if I could find it. There was an original, like, straight up recording. Maybe I'll try to show that in a, in a video, a different video, like an Instagram post or something like that, where it's just an audio of me singing and uh, um, I really, really like the guitar part. Obviously, I didn't keep it. I actually almost kept it in the intro and then kind of went to like the, the studio version. But I, f I f wrote it years ago and then had to figure it out, you know, when I re-recorded this. Um, and I figured it out finally. And I re-recorded this. This is actually me playing the acoustic here, not a sample. You know, I timed it a little bit. Decent amount of reverb. If we were to turn everything off, it would sound like this. Reverb adds a lot. EQ adds a decent amount. The biggest thing though that I recommend you, if you record acoustics, is to use sample delay. First of all, when you're recording, you're, you're gonna record it in mono, but then you go to, you put it in a stereo and then you sample delay. And what that does is if I turn this off, and it splits a single, delaying one of the, the channels, almost makes it sound like a stereo acoustic. So that is that. It pretty much just repeats the whole song. It doesn't, re doesn't change. I think I recorded this whole loop and then just looped it over. Originally, actually, the song was twice as long, um, but I just chopped it all out. I was like, you know, it, it's too much. It's too repetitive. I just chopped it out and kept it this simple thing. Um, for a very simple track, the 14 tracks, you'd be surprised at how much work went into this song more than I would have expected, just because trying to get the right sound between everything, you know, trying to get the right, you know, sound with the bass. Let's talk about the bass next. This is me playing the actual bass. Um, again, a decent amount of timing to fix it. And then I chop things up, like over here, you can see, where is it, right here? I chop sections. And then what I do is I record a comp bit. So I record a different couple different takes and take the best of each take to get the best sounding final take. Um, if we were to listen to that without everything, this is what it originally sounded like. Not as bright. Decent amount of compression going on. That same reverb as before. And now this guy is an overdrive actually which kind of really pushes it a little bit more. Uh, let's see the, the, what we got for that overdrive. We have this going on with the overdrive, kind of fanning it up, but we also have an EQ taking out the low end, so it's really only overdriving the, the top end of it. Okay, let's talk about, uh, we have a couple synths. We have three synths going on. We have, all of them come from this mini log right here. Even that oscillation was in here. Just pulsing kind of right from this whole note chord. Now let's talk about the left and right. We have this guy right here. Not a ton going on too, but it's pretty, pretty, actually, this is a, even the echo, you know, and then what we have, I just took a little bit of low end out. Uh, we also have this, this pot, this higher synth. Um, I added a little bit of tape delay. And then I added a bit of reverb. They're almost like a harmonizing with each other. When you listen to that, it actually sounds kind of funky like these. But you don't notice it when you're actually listening to the actual song. The 
actually go pretty good. Like when you really just listen to that, I haven't heard this in months actually. Does this bring us down? But they kind of get lost in the whole mix. So when we also have, when we talk about the vocals now, uh, let's talk about from the chorus. A little bit of pitch correction. Actually, I don't think I, I pitch corrected at all. I think I only added this. I think this might just be only straight up pitch correction. So if we listen, you'll hear that my voice is a little pitchy. Because I didn't feel it. Never meant to hurt you. I mean, that's fine, but... I never meant to make you that note right there was pretty off. You. But listen, we listen. I never meant to make you. Brought it up. I think it was a little flat before. A um, little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ, taking out the low end. I wanted to kind of like a rawness to it. Um, Bit of reverb and compression to the reverb too. Cry, sense of I don't know why I can press the reverb. Um, and we also have a little bit of delay on a bus. Night, I know you get Eighth note, kind of delay. Then we go to the verse. Similar concept, but then what we have later on, which I really like, is this vocoder that comes in. All that I know. Is this gonna be alright? We have this vocoder from, uh, what's it called? Uh, isotope, isotope vocals in two. These are the settings we have. Yeah, it's gonna be alright. Filmed up, put, put in these chords. And they gave the, the melody. Um, and then a little bit of EQ. Took out the low end. If I took off the EQ, it would sound like this. Gonna be alright. But I took out the low end, kind of pushed it to the middle, and decent amount of reverb took out the. Yeah, it's gonna be alright. Alright. Now these drums, I actually like programmed in. We can look at the drum pattern. So these are all just programmed drums. You can see that I intentionally made them slightly off time to give it this kind of like natural feel. I really like that tom. But if we listen to the original pattern, if I take off the, because it's a ton, the biggest thing was debating how much EQ and, and low pass I do. Uh, this is the original sound though. It's pretty wild. Again, with the overdrive, same overdrive that has the bass, decent amount of reverb. This is the kit we used. Let's see, does it show us? Yep, the SoCal kit. It's amazing what the EQ does. To imagine I didn't EQ this, this is what it sound like. section you know that I added but I just said you know what let's keep it simple doesn't need it and it ended up being two minutes and 14 two minutes and 12 something like that to 13 seconds that's about it 14 track song pretty simple song actually hope you guys enjoyed that as always you can leave a comment if you want me to do this with any of your favorite songs or you can text me at one 888 have a great rest of the day and I appreciate it if you want to check out my music and I'll see you guys next time peace out before I go actually let me talk about this noise track if you haven't seen it in any of my other videos, the noise track is, I recorded a bunch a while ago, like I think it was five different tracks. Um, or, or I recorded one really long 30 minute, that, that's what it is, I recorded 30 minutes straight of just noise in my vocal booth, a uh, pretty hot track. Chopped it up into six minute segments, giving me five different uh, areas. Panned very far right and left, panned decently left and right, and panned in the center. And then layered those all for uh, first six minute segments. Um, and created this whole vocal, this noise track, because I use a lot of software instruments where it's not actual recording. And the problem with that is when you record an actual guitar, I mean, in this case I did, but if you use a sample or like, some, like a software instrument, when you record it, it doesn't have, when you record an actual guitar, you record the air and the sound of the room. I don't actually have that, so what I did is I recorded a bunch of different takes of air, natural air, and put it in there. Now, if you actually listen, you can hear. That's like a really hot version of it. You can actually hear me hit something, I think, at some point. Like if we look really close. Here we go, like listen. There you go, you hear that? It? 
So, I mean, now I put it, usually I have it around like negative eight-ish, six to eight, somewhere around there. Just, but it's, she can barely even hear. But it just adds a little element of naturalness to them. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.